Hey guys, so this is a new video. It's going to be a mixed play tutorial video, uh, mixed play button tutorial video specifically. Uh, kind of like the setup I have right here, which was done over a 12 hour period. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to go into uh, scenes in mixed play buttons. So, come, something like this. If you click this button, it'll go into a scene like mods only. You can go back to your home screen. Uh, as an, another example, you, I'll show you guys how to put GIFs into your Mixplay buttons, as well as having sounds onto those GIFs. So let's get, a, get an example. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. That's a button that I have. You can go back into your original uh, scene. So I'm going to show you guys all that, including how to put pictures and including how to add commands and put stuff like this into your Mixplay uh, mixer stream. So what you want to do first is you want to go to mix it up and I'll provide this link in the description. This is a mix it up bot and it's very integrated with uh, mixer. It's a very good bot. I know there's another bot called Firebot that can also be used to set up mix play buttons, but I have no idea how to do that. I'll just show you guys how to use the mix it up bot. So you want to go ahead and download installer. In my case, I've already done this. So I have this open right here. Uh, it's my mix play mix it up bot. What the, uh, I think you're going to have to enable it in services or about, but you have to go to your mix play and for you, it'll be empty for, let me just make sure it's empty for you. It won't have these buttons. You want to click on your mixer labs. This will bring you to the developer lab in your mixer. Uh, another way to get to it is if you go to your mixer, you could go to uh, more on the top left corner. You could go to under developers. You'll see developer lab. You just want to click that. I think you're going to have to agree to some terms and then, Next, what you want to go to is, is your Mixplay projects. You want to, you're you going to have a bunch of Mixplay projects. For you, it'll probably be empty. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, create a new project. Uh, for me, it'll be called YouTube Video. Uh, the project game doesn't matter. For me, I can even put Fortnite. It doesn't honestly matter what you put into the project game. And you want to go ahead and press Save. Uh, this doesn't really matter. You could just go ahead and save this. It doesn't... This, honestly doesn't matter what you want to your most important button right here is build you want to go to your build and here you'll see scenes and controls basically your scenes are your mix play button scenes where if you click mod you're going to go in the mod scene so let me just give you as an example you want to go to new scene and you want to type in mod and that's going to be your mod scene so you have a default scene which everyone sees when they first click your mixer stream and then you're going to have a mod scene for only the mods so you want to go ahead and go to the right now and you see controls here you want to press new control and you have button joystick label mouse and text box for this specific video we're going to go over button and label uh, but you can also use text boxes mouse and joystick as an example of a text box which I won't show you how to do right now but if you go to text box uh, this will be something like this on my mix play let me just go ahead and connect mine uh, this is what it's going to look like if you go to my fly games you can input a specific number in here and it's going to trigger an event um, what happens is that's your text box uh, for this case let's add a button for us it's going to be mod you're going to go ahead and press add uh, make sure it's set on mod now you're going to get a little uh, error right here don't worry about that. All it means is you just want to edit the button. You want to press the right arrow. Uh, you're going to have text, spark cost, keyboard control, tooltips, text size. I'm going to go over every single control setting right here. So text, uh, this is what you're going to have uh, showed on your button itself. So for this case, we want the mods to see what the button is. So we're going to type in mod. Uh, the spark cost for mods is obviously going to be zero in this case. Keyboard control, don't worry about that. To be honest, it, it just... Uh, I actually never use this to be honest. The tooltip though is if you hover over that button, you, it, it will bring up a little menu showing what the button is. For this case, I'll say mod only so people know what button this is for. Uh, text size is generally keep it 18. That's a really good size for a lot of viewers to use. Uh, text color, this is where I typically have it as white, but you can honestly play around with it all you want. Same with accent focus and background color. It honestly up to you. Uh, it'll bring up these color oh, color wheel. Uh, for me, I like to just have empty text color white and border color blue. That's just kind of because of my theme of the stream. Um, and then you want to go ahead and press X. You want to drag and drop this control onto the grid. And you'll see right here. You want to drag and drop this button. You can resize it any way you want. Uh, just be aware that you do have uh, tablets and you do have to set up for your phones as well. 
Uh, so there's three different integrations for mixed play buttons. However, once you make the buttons, all you got to do is go to your tablet and just drag and drop as well. And there you go. You have it saved for both uh, tablet and desktop. And then you can have it set up for phone as well. So you just drag and drop here. Now let's go back to your desktop because this is the best way for me to show you. Uh, so now your bot button is saved. You want to go ahead and press save. Now, since you want a double scene, you want to go ahead. Oh, oh, I saved it in the wrong thing. I'm so sorry, guys. Basically, you want, I, I completely made a mistake. You want to have this button made on default. So you let's go, let's remake this really quickly. Uh, I'm sorry, let me just delete this button really quickly. I, I made a mistake, but don't worry, guys. You can just quickly redo this. Uh, mod, you go to breast button. You go ahead and drag and drop. Uh, type in mod, same thing. Zero spark cost, uh, mod only. 18, and then white, blue. And now it's saved. Now you want to go to your mod scene and basically what happens is when people click this button, they're going to go into the mod scene. This mod scene is where only mods will be able to view the scene specifically in the mixed play buttons. What you want to do is go to controls and press back because we don't want to get stuck in the scene. We want the mods to be able to go back into the your default mixer play button scene. So you want to go ahead and press, a, a, let's say, name it back. You want to go ahead and add button. You want to go ahead and drag and drop or vice versa. And then you want to have a back button. Uh, spark cost will be zero. Uh, tool tip will be go back. And you could say go back to default. Doesn't matter. Uh, text size will be 18. White, uh, text color will be white for me. Border color is blue. And now you should have it saved. Now make sure, guys, make sure you have this saved right here in the top right section. Like, double click it if you have to because i've lost a lot of progress by just go to my mix it up bot without saving up here this is one of the most important things you can do is just press save now you want to go back to your mix it up bot basically make sure you disconnect from whatever you have on the left section this is where your mix play projects are saved uh these are originally these are for like default ones that you can get with mix it up however for our case we want to go ahead and refresh in case yours isn't, isn't loaded um, and now you should have a, uh, a mix play for me in this in this case uh, YouTube video this will be your mix play project you want to click that now you should see a, a name mod button because we've already done and saved it on mix it up all you want to go ahead is do add command you want to go to your advanced command you could use basic chat and sound commands however I like to use advanced commands just in case I add a little bit more integration into my button I want to go ahead and press add advanced command and the next thing you want to do, if you want the user to go into that mod scene, you want to go ahead and action and go to mix play. You want to go ahead and press add. And then the type would be move user to scene. Um, there's a bunch of integrations. I've really not even played around with this too much. All you need to do is go move user to scene. Um, the group name, which is, uh, sorry, move user to scene, not move group to scene. Uh, the permission, it can be anywhere from pro, partner, follow, regular, all this stuff, subscriber, anything you want. So you can see how this is very, very integrative with Mixer. Uh, for our case, we want only mods to be able to go into our mod button. So you want to click mod. Next is the C name. This is the most important because... You, let's go let's go back to the developer lab make sure the scene they want you want that button to go into matches this scene in uh, developer lab so for us it's mod the capitalization is important so make sure it's the right uh, if, if there's no capitalization on mod don't put it in if there is put it in so our scene name would be mod you want to go ahead and press save now you want to go back to your mix it up bot now you should see this is your scenes on the right this is obviously your mix play projects so you want to drag a drop and now you should have two scenes default and mod you want to click mod and then you have a back command now you want to add the command do the same exact thing uh but basically you're going to have it so you're going back to your default uh mix it up button scene uh you go to mix play again if i can find it you go add you go type move user to scene and now you want to go to default. I'm not capitalizing it because if you go to our developer lab, our default uh, scene is not capitalized. Um, and then you, all you want to do is go ahead and save. And now all you need to do is literally press uh, refresh, just refresh to double check. And all you want to do is connect. Now, if you go to my mixer, now we have a mod button, which is if you hover over the tooltip, it says 
mod only. You click it and it will bring you to the scene where it has the back button. And this is where you can add whatever you want, obviously. And you go and you can press go back and it will bring you back to the main scene which has the mod button. So that's basically how you go back and forth between scenes. Now let me show you how to put in pictures, sounds, and GIFs. Basically, let me just close all these tabs so it's fresh and you guys uh, know what to do. Uh, there's two different sites I like to use. For pictures, I like to use Emgur. And I personally like to, I have an account created. And so if I find a picture on Google, I would like to upload it. So I have a bunch of pictures I have here. I would like to upload it to Emgur. And basically you just create new post and then you browse or drag images. Let me just find, let's for example, say a snowboarding picture. So you want to go or to a snowboarding picture. Um, you want to go to images and let's say you want to save this specific button. You go to save image as and uh, just save it anywhere you want. I save it in the download section. Uh, actually, let me just double check if this is the right. Yeah, this is a JPEG. Make sure it's like JPEG or, or normal picture file. You want to go back to your Imgur and you want to go browse or drag images here. You want to go ahead and browse and upload that image you just saved onto your computer. Next, this is very important because it took me a while to figure this out. I like to open image in a new tab right here. You right click and open image in a new tab. You go to that tab and you uh, control copy this link or this web browser link right here. You just uh, control C, copy. And now you want to go back to your uh, mix it up, mix play, uh, sorry, developer lab in your mix uh, mixer.com. So you want to go back to your default. Let's say you want to save it in your default where people can see this button. You want to go ahead and add controls. You want to add button, um, press add. Oh, let's just call it snowboarding. You want to go ahead and add, drag and drop it here. Now you want this button to be sized to approximately the same size of this picture. So in this case, it's about almost rectangular. So you want to make sure it, it matches at least. It doesn't matter the size of the button as long as it matches the ratio. The ratio is the most important to make the button look as best as it can. Now it says snowboarding on this button. You don't want text on this button because you probably just want the people to see the picture. So what you want to go is the same thing you did with your mod button, except this time to remove text, to show no text, because if you try to save this, it won't let you because it'll say, please fill out this field. All you want to do is press space, and now it'll register as a space bar, and you're going to have nothing showed on that button. Next, you want to go spark cost. I would like to have it a spark cost of 100. You guys can obviously put it anything you want. The tooltip would be snowboarding sound because we want to have a sound on the snowboarding button so we'll say snowboarding sound and so when they hover over that button it'll say snowboarding sound next text size doesn't matter in this case none of this actually matters uh, from text to background color but the background image is important this is where that co link you saved or copied this is where you're going to control and v or paste the link into the background image and then you want to press x and it and press save it should be now saved that if you connect your mix play it will have that button saved now you want to disconnect you want to refresh and because you want to add a sound um, you now want to add a sound to this button you want to go to your YouTube this is I like to do this make sure this whatever you're taking is not copyrighted for me I'll say snowboarding sound in this case you want to find a five to ten second clip of a sound you can obviously edit the sound clip to whatever uh, length you want um, I have a bunch of sounds, as you can obviously, uh, from the uh, start of the video, I have a bunch of memes that you could put sounds of. So for our case, let's find a sound button. So 18 seconds, this is a perfect sound button. It's a ski and soundboard sound effect. You could hear that, right? All you do is want to control C this and you want to go to uh, YouTube converter. Now this is important, make sure it's not copyrighted. Uh, YouTube to MP3 converter, control V or paste the link, convert download and make sure you know where it's saved uh, for me it's saved in the downloads section of my computer now you want to go back to your uh, mix it up bot and you want to refresh this it'll now show you in the scene if you go to back to your default scene it'll show you the snowboarding button itself all you go all you want to do is go ahead and add command you want to go to advanced command and then now because we want to sound we just go to sound right here and you add now you want it asking you for the sound file path. All you want to go is wherever you save that ski and snowboarding effect. It's gonna for me. It's in the download section. All you do go ahead is double click that. And now you, when you click that button, all it should uh, hear is that soundboard sound effect. 
snowboard sound effects, sorry guys. All you want to go ahead and save, but before you do that, make sure, if you don't want to hear this 24-7 when you're streaming, make sure you have a cooldown on this button. I like to have my sound buttons on approximately 2 minute cooldown, which is 120 seconds. For this button, we'll have it a 15 second cooldown just to show you quicker. Uh, you want to go ahead, uh, also you can, de depends on the type, individual, group, or per person, totally up to you. I like to have it individual for sound effects because if one person clicks it, everyone hears it in the stream. All you want to go ahead is do save, and now your button should be saved with the sound. You want to go ahead and press refresh, and then you want to go ahead and connect. And then you go to your mixer.com, and now you should see a snowboarding picture. And if you click that button, you should also see 100 sparks, by the way. It'll cost you 100 sparks, and you'll hear the sound go off into whatever, like, whoever's listening will hear this button. It'll also be in your headphones as well, so just be careful uh, with whatever you put in to your sounds. And there you go. That is how you put a sound and picture in. The next thing I want to show you is how to put GIFs in. Basically, what you saw in my beginning of the video, I had GIFs on my uh, stream on my one of my buttons. What you want to go is, I like to use Giphy. And here, I don't make an account personally. I just like to take GIFs from here. Let's say you want to have a laughing GIF. So you want to type in laughing. So, see, literally you could have anything here. Uh, basically, the same way we made the picture button for snowboarding, we want to do this for laughing. So let's go to your default seed, and you want to do laughing as a button. You want to go ahead and go to laughing. Uh, again, you probably, because you're doing a GIF, you probably don't want anything in the button itself. So you want to go ahead and press space. The spark cost, I'll do a 100, for example. Or you could do even more, a 1,000 sparks because it's now a GIF. It's totally up to you. It's totally integrated. Um, your tooltip will be laughing sound or whatever you want to make it, to be honest. Uh, text size, again, none of this matters except the background image. Now, now you want to go to your laughing GIF. Let's say we want to have... Um, Ricky Gervais laughing. Now, you can see him laughing. All you do is want to type, uh, go right here and say copy link. It'll bring up this uh, four links here. All you want to do is look at this GIF link right here. Control C or copy it. And then you want to go to back to your developer lab and t paste it into your background image. And all you need to do is press X and now it's all good to go. Just remember the same rules apply with picture as GIFs. You want to approximately uh, check the size of the GIF. So now it's, you can see it's approximately a box, a little rectangular. So you want to match it a little bit to uh, to your mix, but mix play button. So for me, I'm going to have it a little bigger. And this is approximately the same size as the mix play but or the GIF button itself. So you want to go ahead and press save. Now it should be saved if you actually go in, into your mix play buttons and connected it, you would see him laughing. But you want to have a sound now. And so the same rules apply. Go ahead and disconnect, refresh this. You want to click this right uh, button beside the groups. And now you should see a button called laughing, uh, cost a thousand sparks. And you want to type in add command, go to your advanced command, and you want to go to sound. Uh, let's say you want to have a laughing sound. Same, same, uh, same thing applies. Let's go to laughing sound. And again, this is a 14 second laugh. You'll hear it. <laughs> it's one of the iconic laughs as a meme. You want to go ahead and copy this. You want to YouTube convert it and same file location save. Uh, now you want to go back to your mix it up bot. And you want to go ahead and add this and find the sound path file. And you should see it laughing sound effects. You want to double click this. Uh, put a cooldown of 15 seconds again and save. And now you should have the button working. Make sure you refresh this. And then you go ahead and connect this. And then you'll see on my mix play button, you'll see a GIF. The guy is laughing with a thousand, Ricky Gervais, and a thousand sparks for that button. If you click it, <laughs> you will hear the laughing meme sound. And basically, this is how you set. Well, let me finish from laughing. <laughs> so this is basically how you set up mixplay buttons. It's very simple. It just takes a lot of work. So I'll go back to mine and I'll show you what you can have with it. it there's a lot of integration with it. For me, I I've done a lot of work on this. This took 12 hours. Uh, I did it with my good friend Ranger. He's my channel editor as well. Basically, now you could. You could go deeper into it. You could have multiple scenes within a scene. So let's see, I clicked uh, your village, and now I have three different buttons, which bring you to another scene where you could buy snowboards or equipment, uh, different levels. You can have a huge integration system with your mixplay buttons uh, upgrade store coming soon. So 
basically it all depends how deep you want to be integrated with your mix play buttons the more the deeper you go the more scenes you have the more work it is so just be careful um honestly you can have any command you want if you want a chad command let's say let's go back to uh my youtube video and uh let's say you want to have that lapping sound bring up a chat command now you want to go ahead and press action you want to have a chat message you want to press addition and then you can literally type anything you want in here so every every time someone clicks that gif or that laughing gif what you want them to say is i am laughing out loud or something something like something like that it doesn't really matter whatever you want it to have and you want to go ahead and press save now you want to go ahead and connect and You'll see this, and now if you press laughing, it'll show I am laughing out loud. It's a very cool system that you can put in. So, let me let, let, me let, let this laughing finish. So basically, this is exactly how you set up mix play buttons. There, it's a huge system. Mixer did an amazing job putting these uh, mix play buttons in. It's something that they have over Twitch, over any other streaming platform, and it's very, uh, very fun for viewers to like play around with it. I personally have a stream currency in my mix play uh, buttons. Uh, you, it's called flies, and people spend flies, and they can play games. You can type in fly games, and you can input like, I want to spend a hundred flies, and I click big air event. Uh, I used 100 flies and I soared through the air like an eagle, but got an edge, A for effort, but and it keeps their flies. It's a lot of integration with it. You could go really deep into it. I'll have much more videos on it in the coming future, but this is basically the beginning uh, beginner uh, mix play tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and please let me know down in a, uh, YouTube comments descriptions comments if you have any questions i will reply to you instantly uh if you want you could ask me directly if you go to my uh my schedule and you ca catch me live uh and you type in let's say you have a question you'd be like how do i input like a currency system i will explain it to you guys i'll talk to you guys through it live while i'm streaming uh to go to me it's mixer.com slash trofly t-r-o-f-l-y Guys, if you want any tips, make sure you just go to my Mixer and I will explain to you everything. I uh, wish you all the success as a streamer on Mixer. And I hope to uh, meet wonder all you wonderful people there. Have a wonderful day, everyone.